So if I was told my story in 60 seconds, I would tell you I have been raised to be persevering and strong. I'm very lucky with the, the background that I have. I feel like that all shaped me to be the person I am. I was in a car accident in 2010, which left me in the chair paralyzed from the waist down. I've loved horses my entire life, so getting back on a horse was not an option. That's what I was going to do. So now I'm the only paralyzed professional barrel racer in the entire United States. I feel like that everyone is going to have some sort of a challenge, you know, and sometimes they can look like mine. You might see them on the outside and sometimes they may not. The one thing I do believe that is across the board an option for every single one of us is to turn that that challenge into something that can inspire and motivate those around you. So I am glad that I've been able to open up a platform and open up an avenue for people to watch me, not just, I don't know, overcome life's challenges, but even try to succeed, and right? And, and be anything and the best that I can be at anything I want to pick. There is no point when you wake up in the morning after something and say, today I'm gonna to become an inspiration. That doesn't happen. So it's really just, how can I survive today? And sometimes it's even, how can I survive the next minute? So that's a, that's a continuing thing. There are some days that I feel like I do really well at this, and there are other days still, 12 years down the road, that this is not what I planned. And I call those days the days my lap is round because I feel like it doesn't matter what I set on my legs, it's gonna fall off and it's just enough to just irritate you through the entire day. So I feel like we all have those moments and I still have them. So it's a continuing battle. I feel like if people ask me how I became a speaker, I can tell you it's because of my involvement in the FFA. That was where I really like honed in my skills as a speaker and then of course that was the year that I got in the accident when I was serving as state FFA president. So I gave a retiring address on overcoming obstacles, which I had written prior to my accident and then wrecked a month later and then was literally living that speech to get on convention to give that. And so I feel like there's a lot that's been intertwined with the FFA for me and I'm very thankful to have an organization that has allowed me to become who I am. The one thing that I hope people leave the room with is the ability to recognize they have the strength to overcome anything that's happening in their life.